Good morning, everyone. Long time no see. Over two months. Today is August 1st, 2023, and I haven't flown since May 22nd. A lot of life going on, so here we are. So let's set the stage for this morning here. So this is a test flight, so butterflies right here. So I've done my annual inspection, I've done my maintenance. I also have a brand new parachute. This is the first flight, so this is a test flight of the new parachute. I've set my, got it installed, got the brake lines set on their initial setting, and we'll check that again when we're out there laying out. So we're taking our time this morning. We're, I've been waiting for east-west winds so I can use the big uh, long grass runway 927 here at Shelbyville because I want a long takeoff roll because I'm going to be looking at stuff pretty hard on the roll, checking all the lines, making sure nothing's tangled, making sure there's not a ton of slack in the brake lines or they're not pulled too tight, which they shouldn't be. And to complicate things, <laughs> we got diamonds out here early this morning. So they're coming in and so we got cross runway. So I'm going to have to go out there and wait for them. I'm going to do a radio check first here, make sure my radio's working because I'm definitely going to need that this morning to work. So we'll call up the Unicom here shortly after we fire up. And we'll double check the winds. They've been out of the east this morning, which is what we've been waiting on, east or west. So here we go. Wish us luck here. This is a fun one. Test flights are always fun. Oh, let me get my GPS tracker going first here. It's been a while. When you don't fly a while, you lose all that muscle memory of uh, kind of everything that you do. So that's why I'm taking extra time this morning. I went to fly oh, almost you know, a week and a half ago, and my battery was dead. Didn't have it on the starter, or on the charger. So... I'm going to put this on Do Not Disturb so I don't get disturbed. So the battery's all good. The engine's good. Everything looked good on the warm-up. So let's check out the winds here. Yep, comes a diamond right there. One's taxiing in, so that's one less in the pattern for now. And we'll do a radio check, and we'll get things going. One. Clear prop. Remarks. Density altitude 800. Shelbyville Municipal Airport, Shelbyville, Indiana. Automated weather observation 1142 Zulu. Wind 060 at 03. Let's wait for uh, calls on the Unicom here. Hopefully, my battery on my intercom is good. I haven't used it in a while, but it was fairly new. Okay, I got that closed up. We got oil. Got plenty of gas. Shut that off. Alright, 743 is going to be after 8 o'clock before we get off, which is alright. It's supposed to be a pretty calm day today. Shall we go with Unicom, power parachute, 7200, Mike Papa, radio check, please. Run clear, uh, Shall we go Unicom? Thank you very much. Just checking the radio after maintenance, thanks. All right, let's do this. A little chilly, I got my jacket in there. It'll probably be warmer at altitude, but I'm not freezing my ass off. I can always unzip it a little bit. Make sure all the clamps are tight on everything here. Double, triple check. Here we go. Man, it feels weird to be in here again. It's been like probably nine weeks or better. We'll turn the left camera up at the parachute when we take off here. Yeah, a little chilly out here taxiing for sure. Like I say, we're going to roll be checking stuff on the takeoff roll for the parachute. It's going to be a long one. And trying to see where that diamond is. I don't hear Maybe they took off, left the pattern. That would be nice if I had a quiet pattern for a little bit while I do this. Shovel traffic, power parachute. Nine Mike Papa, taxiing to runway Niner via Texway, Bravo, Shovel. Thank 
Well, wind's kind of out of the north northeast. We're going to have to really angle it across the runway. Shelbyville traffic, power parachute, 729 Mike Papa, back taxiing runway 09 or Shelbyville. Yeah, it's angled pretty good there. We're going to have to cut into it. That makes it a little more difficult. I was hoping for something a little more down the runway, but all right, look behind for aircraft. Go down the taxiways. Down here this morning. Moist. Nice mile long drive to start. Nothing like that. <laughs> Yeah, Windsock down here looks pretty limp. Needs a little Viagra or Cialis. Everybody go toadstool right there. Thing's a monster, man. <laughs> All right, we got corn on either side, so we land forward, and we got beans across the field out straight to the east on the other side. So just kind of taking stock of what's going on here. When we get out, we'll drop some grass. We'll check the winds. We'll feel. engine warm up a few more degrees. Shelbyville traffic, experimental power parachute 729 Mike Papa taking off runway 09 Shelbyville. Nobody out there? Point traffic, Twin Star 84 Lima, 7 miles to the northeast from the RNF 23. We're doing, I think, one general approach, same one. Hey, we're flying. <laughs> Pulled in on my right side, it feels like. We'll see here. Yep, definitely a lot of slack there. Better on the left. Flying straight, we're going to check for flying straight. So you have a lot of slack there, so we'll get out of here. We'll go out here to the west a little bit, or to the east. Some of these bean fields. This one need a little pull in on the right. Left isn't too bad. Engine looks good. EGTs, good. Now I hit a warm spot here. That's good. Helicopter's not spinning yet. Alright. We'll pull a little trim in here. Side. That's a lot better. I said it to get warm for me up there. I'm sorry, 84 Lima is four miles to the northeast and I'm going to have T3. We're going to see what they approach the far. Really nice, kind of it will take off. We'll do some line checks up top here. Our hang looks good. 
no slack ones. Better not be, it's a brand new shoe. Off about a little after 8 o'clock. Should be nice today, not supposed to be much wind, so that's a good thing. Hopefully we won't have bumps. I hadn't planned any kind of a duration for this flight. Just kind of went to see how it goes. Seems to be flying pretty straight. Not bad. Good up top. I like that. Got her pretty close. I only had probably three or four notches in on the right side and a couple on the left on the steering line, so not bad. Welcome to the air, Mr. Apco. Crossville Municipal Traffic, Skyhawk 73719, three miles to the west of Crawfordsville. Doing a teardrop entry to the left downwind runway 22, Crawfordsville. Looks weird to see green in my mirror. I'm used to seeing white underneath, but this new canopy is green underneath with the white stripe, so. Oh, it feels good to be back. Oh, man. Come back before we land, we'll pop off about. Three touch and goes, just to make sure I'm current. Let's see how she feels here. Sorry, if we leave the train with cross friend, we'll take five, see more. Yeah, I've been quiet, just kind of feeling this thing out. Put an eye on stuff. Eagle Creek Traffic, Street 45, Victory to Corn, departing the pattern into the north. Eagle Creek. More traffic, I'm sorry, at Fort Lima is left downwind. Runway 5 is still not simulated. Uh, Boy's got a nasty beep on that radio. Let's give you a parachute cam by the new parachute. There it is. Still has that new parachute smell. Four traffic spins are eight, four Lima's, and we turn to final on way five. Four. Do a quick loop around John here. Skyhawk 73719 are going all out. Left traffic, Crawfordville. See if Mr. Bush is up and going down here. Foot traffic, Simon 515, November call, nine miles to the northeast of the airport. Going to be entering on a 45 degree for uh, runway 36, left downwind, button traffic. Good wind up here. It'll be a slow ride back. We won't go too far west. But I just wanted to go over here and check out my house. Whoa! Shit! What the fuck was that? That wasn't me. Holy 
fuck, where did that come from? That wasn't my own Trump wash. I don't know what the hell that was. That was a wake up. Wake up, Scotty! What the hell, man? So traffic, Skyhawk, 73719er, entering a downwind, or 22, not the traffic. Yeah, all the dudes are around here. Getting down here where it's chilly. Starting to mix a little bit. Sun's been up for almost two hours, so. November Golf is established on the left downwind runway 36.
Well, they got a lot of shit in the yard out here. Too gnarly down there. All right, let's do. Touch and go here. Over Fishers. Set up. Might do a couple up here. Go down the far end of the runway and touch and go. the trees over here, babies. be flying pretty good. I'm kind of weather baiting into this easterly wind, but not bad at all. Shoe sure hadn't fallen off yet. That's a good thing. Can you hear me now? Maybe, maybe not. Who knows? This is a fun morning. Coming up on Boxtown, Indiana, right up here at our 11 o'clock. Let me show you some leg here. Woo! Pull my socks up. Keep my leg warm. Seems to be flying pretty good. All the steering issues I'm having is from the wind here. A little weight ship, but I think I got my brakes pretty well adjusted. Done two landings, so my next one I'll be current, so I can take the passenger. So if they go up yet tonight, we'll see. For now, in the morning, we'll just that's the thing I got to keep an eye on that oil. Get to land here in a little bit. Should put a little more.
they pull another notch on this side. Yeah, we're hitting the cold air. Get ready for the bumps. Woo! Yeah. Chili fun. Flying over blow beams, shenanigans. Yeah, dog slow up here, man. Snail slow. I am snail man. Man, so far so good on this test flight. Well, I like what I'm seeing. Sure. Eagle Creek traffic is 4-3, begin form is left downwind, runway 3, Eagle Creek. <laughs> Let's see where we've been, shall we? I'll let you see where we've been. I'm looking out front. This is not that fun. Give you a look at the parachute cam again here. From this side. Hello, Mr. Parachute. Isn't it a lovely parachute? So far it's working just fine. I'm trying to stay up a while so I can make sure I got maybe a little drier grass so it's not wet. Hoping to fly tonight anyway, so that would dry it off. Q 
you. Your traffic is full five eighty nine one left face from White Three Eagle Creek. Two traffic now man. Seven six nine leave was gonna go runway one standard pattern show go. Probably just I'll go north and I'll transition eastbound and we'll come back around for me. Go traffic diamond six sixty one uh leaving. Then we'll stay out of the pattern. Stay out of the east this side of the pattern. So we're landed one, they're on that west side of the airport. Altimeter. Two five eight zero four five runway three. Seven six five eight one seven six five eight one three one three one three one three one three one three one Down traffic, y'all. Six one eight one two. Come to the field for left down wind. Two nine six down. For better traffic, Hot Super Echo Trans Final Runway Two. Terminal traffic down to seven six nine. Name on the south wind. Show the traffic. Six traffic, six four seven. Four five six five three runway. Right brothers, traffic warrior three three four two four three miles to the southeast maneuver and join the left down the front. We are no better head down. Davis County four two two eight. Traffic search four one six zero four breaking out the line two one six seven nine three you break. Show with traffic time at nine four seven Lima is turning final for runway one. Shall we go? Show me all traffic car parachute nine o'clock pop up mile and a half north of the airport at one hundred feet transition. Shall we go? We're three, three, four, two, four, final runway. Shovel traffic, Simon, I'm first, I'm leaving, I'm to go, front runway one, shall we go? We have you inside the uh, power parachute, shall we go? Copy that. Okay, one, stop, stop, it's here, six, 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 my job, and bound on your nav about eight miles. What? Go on. Get up here where it's warm, maybe a little smoother. Also a bit slower. May go another half hour or so, we'll see. See how the oil looks. You want some time to clear it, uh, five miles, final one, so I'd have eight if you want some.
condition clear. Temperature. Parachute cam for that. Look at that sucker rock and roll, man. He's down there at the battery layer. Bound for one nine. <laughs> so the river's right here, and they're. Uh, they're ready to move the road because the river is eating out the bank up here, so we're going to go check it out. Then pass it on the ground, but I want to see how bad the erosion looks from up here. Some full traffic, but sorry, it won't leave out the party to the south. bank or part of the wall. Hard to see with the trees. <laughs> it's right there for sure. <laughs> More airport up here, folks, ahead of us. Close her down. Go over by a little Mary in here and see what's going on. 9.30, everybody ought to be awake, right? Really trying to warrior 3314, boy, let's Shelbyville Municipal Airport, Shelbyville, Indiana. Automated weather observation 1335 Zulu. Wind 120 at 04. Ability. All right, let's head back that way. Traffic helicopter 7293 is at the FBO. We'll be crossing the active for the car facility. They're looking for that 09 traffic. Show me what traffic experimental power bridge. Shoot 7290 Black Papa. We're going to do a couple of 360s out here east of the airport and let that rotor wash fish bait before we land on 09 or something like that. Our south traffic there, 1191 Delta, 4 miles. Our real traffic, air tractor, 422 Tango, which is 5 southeast, inbound 350. Our real traffic. Show me all traffic, experimental pair of parachutes, 1700 Mike Pata is on a left downwind for runway 09 or at 1100 feet. Show me them. Kilbrow will be 
Traffic Cessna 690, about three miles south of the field at 3,600 feet. We're going to just transition over the top of the field from south to north. 3,700, or excuse me, 3,600 feet, Shelbyville. Traffic with our 458 Lima, uh, four miles to the southwest on the RNAV 5. Get more. Parachute jumpers at Shelbyville? Negative, it was a powered parachute on the ground. Roger. Shelbyville traffic, our copter 21107, that's the guard facility. B, taking off. To the east, behind the departing traffic, and the left turn on the uh, departing on the downwind, Shelbyville. And uh, Shelbyville traffic, TBM 598, Whiskey Foxtrot, holding short 19, uh, waiting for uh, clearing traffic. Uh, 
And uh, Diamond at uh, Shelbyville, which direction are you headed? We'll be remaining in the pattern. Uh, turn about to turn cross one now. Okay. Uh, TBM 598 Whiskey Foxtrot departing runway 19 and uh, be making a left turn and departing to the south. Parachute 9 my puppet clear of runway 09 or taxiing back to the far north hangar via taxiway Bravo Shabbat Good flight. Got busy there at the end. A little crazy, but that's about par for the course, I think, so no biggie. Just manage it. A lot of helicopter traffic there all along. Chubbyville traffic, 963 Lima, turning left south, red to one ray, one nine, Chubbyville. All in all, great flight. A little over an hour and a half, I think. I'll have to go back and look. I forgot to look at my clock on the console here, but around an hour and a half. Got the parachute all dialed in, got my brake line set. They were a little loose. So a few ratchets in on either side. Engine ran good. And we're on the ground. Hey, that's a good ending. Ground's a little damp yet, so hopefully we'll get to fly this evening and give me a chance to get to shoot out in the air and get it dried. Go back and fuel up and put her up and head back home. See what I gotta do, work in the yard or something, I forget. But hey, we got in the air, that's a big thing, safely, and down. <laughs> it's working, I'll tell you that. <laughs> Retirement never gets old. <laughs> oh my. Chubbyville traffic time is 663 Lima, turning final runway 19, Chubbyville. Get to do this in the daylight here. <laughs> roll her up, roll her up. Boom, 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 boom. All right, we can KO that radio. KO that intercom. Oh, yeah. Face rub and the head scratch. Always. <laughs> But, let's see what we did here. I don't know, we did about an hour and a half, and we'll check the mileage. Yeah, 49 and a quarter miles. So that's pretty nice. So kind of, a little bit east of here, not much, and then back to the south, Buzz Bobby, and then around Fairland, Bogstown. Did a couple of touch and go landings at the Fishers place, Cardinal's Nest Airport, so, Two landings there, one here, that means I'm all current, so I'm cleared to take passengers, so that's a good thing. Let's get this thing fueled up. Get me fueled up. I got a rest of a diet Mountain Dew in there waiting on me. And the hoverflies are out, of course. All right, successful test flight. First flight in yeah, probably nine weeks, over nine weeks, nine and a half, May 22nd to August 1st, whatever the hell that is. So the new parachute's up and running uh, just fine. The engine's running good, using a little bit more oil than I would expect down here. So I need to adjust my oil injection system. And I spilled some oil up here when I was filling up. So I gotta wipe that off. Let's do that real quick. Sorry about the bad camera work. Deal with it. 
but all's good so we've kind of moved some stuff around here in the hangar a little bit since the last time we were here uh, we used to have the stuff way back here it's dark you can't see in the corner way back under the shelf my other cabinet was over there against that wall next to the bathroom so i moved my little cabinet in here and i keep my helmet and some other stuff and i got some cubbies here i can use i got to finish moving all that stuff out over onto the shelf which used to be under the parachute and now it's back here so a lot less walking around i think it'll be better for me in the long run um just handier that's the big thing i've learned i hooked up my battery tender after this flight because i don't know if i'll get up tonight but i need to be doing that after every flight because one time i went to fly and it wasn't working so this is the power parachute cubby this poor dude hadn't seen the air for a long time and i think brent wants to sell it fan bay's up for buying it it's a numbered airworthiness november 7513 golf just needs a fresh annual and he'll probably do that so be nice to have a little more room back here so anyway good local flight in the morning uh high pressure overhead so that made for some calm conditions up high warmer a little bumpy at the boundary layer between the colder air at the surface and up above but it made the landing a little bumpy ran into some helicopter traffic back here we had to deal with business as usual for that around here so i mean that's normal with the guard facility you always expect that and a lot of diamond traffic so all in all good flight i'm happy with it it's good to get back in the saddle and get rid of the butterflies so hopefully we'll catch you this evening maybe we'll fly again tonight and we'll take the big camera and we'll get some real pictures so until next time nice to be back bye